Man, it's been 46 to step it up because they got a hostile situation going on with the subject. Difficulty breathing. 3423 kilo point drop. Hey everybody, Steve here, just checking out the two meter band on the ham radio. I've gotten a whole bunch of emails from people asking me to do a troubleshooting video, and I just kind of wanted to take a second here and show you a couple things. Uh, one primary thing, and what that is, is taking the time to get your RTL SDR uh, really dialed in. And the way you do this is uh, give it a few minutes to get hot, uh, probably a good solid five minutes. Uh, it should be pretty much warm to the touch. I want to call your attention to a specific station that's perfect for these calibrations, and that's a 470 309. If you go to 470.309 right here, and you'll notice that there is one spike here, right at 470.309. And I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit and show it to you a little closer. Now what this is, is uh, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play the little signal here for you. Let's see here. This is what it sounds like. There it is right there. So it doesn't sound like much, but I'm at 473.09.280. Um, and what that means is, uh, you know, these RTL SDRs, as great as they are, are still mass produced. Uh, I believe they're made in China. Uh, so they're not perfect. And what I want to show you here is a way to get dialed in and try to make sure that it is close to perfect as possible. So I'm going to go to 473.09 and you can see that I'm kind of missing the point. I'm, I'm kind of missing it here but just a little bit. So essentially what I need is I need a little correction. And the way I'm going to do that correction is I'm going to go to the cog here. And then down here you can see uh, this PPM, which is a frequency correction. And what I want to do is there's one, as you can see, I'm going the wrong way at, with a positive number. So what I want to do is I want to kind of go the opposite way. And see, I just kind of jumped right over it with a negative one. And at zero, I'm just barely on the other side of it. So as you can tell, my particular RTL SDR is pretty dialed in. I, I could go with a frequency uh, correction of negative one uh, to try to get it closer to dialed in. I'm going to just go ahead and do that for the sake of uh, demonstration. Uh, yours may be yours may be more off. I've had times with mine where it gets really, really hot, where it's been working for a real long time it gets off by as much as negative two negative three and uh, I've seen on the internet where people have to make uh, even even larger adjustments but I'm gonna go ahead and close this just so I kind of remember that number that that minus one on the PPM and what this does is it just essentially it's a correction for the RTL SDR to get you closer to the exact station that you think that you're on I have had people tell me that they uh, use a scanner frequency website and then they go to a specific channel that they think that uh, should be broadcasting and they say that it's either faint or it's just not coming in clearly. Uh, so I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and try to do this PPM uh, setting. If you're using two of them to try to follow digital trunking, um, you're going to want to try to calibrate both of them and remember what number you got for each of them. Now I'm using SDR Sharp to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce over to uh, SDR Sharp. Okay, so I fired up Unitrunker here, and uh, this is the SDR uh, dongle that I've got plugged in right now. Go ahead and double click on Scanner, make sure you're on the Info tab, and as you can see, there's a place for correction right here. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that negative one that I got from SDR Sharp, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that change right here. So now, my RTL SDR dongle is calibrated, so that when I type in a station here, I'll actually be on that station as opposed to being near that station. And the other thing is I've gotten a lot of emails about uh, people saying that they can hear what seems to be a conversation, but it's garbled. And I can only take a guess and say that you're probably trying to listen to a digital transmission that is encrypted. If you've got your SDR dongle dialed in and you're sure that uh, that is not your issue and you're still hearing a garbled conversation, I'm going to recommend that you go over to the RadioReference.com website and look through their forums uh, there's a lot of good information there, and uh, if you've got a question as it pertains to whether or not the communications are encrypted in your particular area, um, you probably find somebody uh, in here who has already discovered that, and will answer that question for you directly. So, um, I'm Steve, signing off. Oh, but first, before I sign off, check it out. Hey, okay, you put your phone on.
I got GQRX working in Kali Linux, so I've got it working in Linux on my uh, laptop, uh, which is a proof of concept because if I can get it to work on Kali Linux, I'll be able to get it to work on the Raspberry Pi. So that'll be next. So please subscribe, stick around, many more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Tip one, if you can be around 315 Blackburn Street, 315 Blackburn Street, had a neighbor call in for her neighbor. She's in disorder with her 13-year-old son, and he just threw a rock and busted the window in the vehicle.